So today I thought it could be fun to do a little pre-Halloween vlog and uh, prepare for Halloween in June, basically, um, because it's gonna be here before we know it. And I feel like Halloween decorations come out earlier and earlier every year. And uh, so I feel like we're gonna start going out pretty soon, which gets me all excited. I'm so ready, I hope you're ready. But I figured we'd do a little chit chat, kind of a hangout session down in the comments section and just get yourself a snack or a beverage and just chit chat about all things pre-Halloween. So. Uh, what stores we're looking forward to, like our favorite stores, or maybe what themes you wanna see this year, or maybe we'll reminisce a little bit about themes we saw last year. Also, I thought it could be fun if we went cruising to at home to see if they're preparing for us quite yet. So two years ago, I feel like at home put out their Halloween stuff early June. Some people, especially in California, I feel like we're reporting that they, uh, that it was early June. And I feel like here it was mid June, but then last year with everything that went on, we didn't see Halloween at, I'm just gonna say at home, even though it's at, at home technically, but I'm just gonna say at home. We didn't see Halloween at home until late June. I feel like we're gonna have to start stocking soon because you never know. I doubt there's anything out yet, but you never know what you're gonna find. We can see if they're starting to mark down anything or you know, have any aisles are starting to clear out. I don't know, we can just check it out, see what they got going on. Anyway, so before we get into it, I figured I'd make a little spooky beverage. I don't know, let's make our little nook that we have going on in this corner of my living room. Uh, I figured we could get some, maybe some jack-o'-lanterns out, go get Mr. Skeleton out of the car and sit down and have a full on spooky chit chat. But before I start that, before we start making our spooky drink and getting our, our uh, spooky nook going on, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video. You know I have to talk about my favorite spooky streaming platform, which is Shudder. So this video is sponsored by Shudder. And if you haven't heard of Shudder before, Shudder is a horror and thriller streaming service. Shudder has such an amazing and unique collection of horror and thrillers on their platform. They have all sorts of different genres, anything from horror classics to supernatural to slasher films to revenge type movies. Also have their own Shudder exclusives, which personally I love their Shudder exclusives, but they release so much exclusive content all the time that I like when I see people, I'm like, oh my gosh, did you see this one? And they're like, no, where did you find that? And I'm like, you got to get Shudder because you have to see this one. Um, for example, Revenge is one that I talk about to anyone who will listen. I really enjoyed that one. Summer of 84, also on Shudder. Amazing. The, I also really enjoyed, uh, what was the, the Cleansing Hour? You guys actually told me about that one. So I watched that one per your request and really enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something that, you're, that looks familiar, it's on there. And if you're also looking for something that's unique that you've never seen before that you're not going to find anywhere else, it's also on Shudder. So um, I love Shudder for all of those things. So anyway, Shutter is $5.99 a month or $56.99 a year. But right now you can try Shutter free for 30 days if you go to www.shutter.com and enter promo code Jade. You do have to go to the website in order to enter the code to get the 30 days free. But once you do that, you can stream unlimited content on Shutter from your iOS and Android devices, also Roku, Google Chromecast, Xbox One, Amazon Fire TV. So definitely check out Shudder so you can get started streaming the best horror, thriller, and supernatural content. Shudder's expertly curated collection includes titles like Color Out of Space, really love that one by the way, Mortuary Collection, also another good one, plus all the best horror documentaries and the hit series Creep Show from executive producer Greg Nicotero from The Walking Dead. Also another one if you're looking for another recommendation, I know I mentioned all the horror movies and the series that I really like. Uh, but if you are looking for something, just a little Halloween pick me up, I also highly recommend the Gulag, which you know I can't stop talking about. I mention the Gulag every time, but it definitely is one of my favorites to just have on in the background, especially when I'm just feeling like I need to feed my Halloween soul. So definitely check out Shutter once again. You can try Shutter free for 30 days. If you go to shutter.com and enter promo code Jade, that's J-A-D-E, uh, and get your 30 days free. Um, all right, so I, wanted, I need to turn on a light because it's starting to get dark out there. I'm like just hanging out in the dark. No big deal. At least we're on brand. <laughs> no. But I'm going to make myself a little coffee situation because 
I know it's like three o'clock. I'm probably not gonna sleep. Just a little groggy today. So we're gonna make ourselves a little spooky beverage. Thinking, I love this one. I like tall mugs, but this is just gonna be a little small something. So let's go with the one that looks the most Halloween. And this is it. This one at Home Goods, which I'm so excited. I can't wait to see all the spooky dishware this year. Um, all right, which we're gonna talk about here in a second. I'm getting ahead of myself. Froth some almond milk. There we go. While we're waiting for our milk, oh, it's bright again, hello. Um, while we're waiting for our milk, I figure we go out and get Mr. Skeleton in the car. He's still out where we left him. Hey, Mr. Skeleton, what you doing, bud? Uh, all right, sorry. Excuse my touch, Mr. Skeleton. I'm not trying to dig in your pelvis. All right, here we go, Mr. Skeleton. All right, ready, dude? Try to squeeze by. Okay. I feel like this is the Blair Witch situation. I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, also I'm gonna go really quick and get some pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns out of the basement with the spiders. I think they're just all right here because I have all of my decorations out still from halfway to Halloween. Where's, oh, here we are. All ready to go. Okay, excuse. Pardon me. There we go. All right, here we are. We gotta go get our drink made in our espresso. Can't forget the foam, shake it out. All right, spooky beverage is complete. All right, Nance, I think we're gonna have to maneuver this just ever so slightly. We're gonna have to have you sit on Mr. Skeleton's lap. I hope that's okay. I'm just gonna, there we go. I'm gonna put your blankies on top, you won't feel a thing. There you go, see? You can tell right there. Nothing different. What do you think? All right, Mr. Skeleton, I'm gonna have to lean on you a little bit, so don't get any ideas. Keep your bones to yourself, sir. Okay, so I figure we chit chat a little bit about, I don't know, we'll just keep it an open chit chat. Let's start with the stores that we're excited to go to, like where we're looking forward to going and what we're excited to see there maybe, or maybe we'll take a little walk down memory lane and show what we saw last year. So, all right, so the first place I guess I'll mention is the first place we go to every year, which is at home. At home every year kills it. And I feel like I've said this in a, I said this in a spooky family vlog and I wanna say I said it in another vlog because I, can't, I couldn't stop talking about this collection at, at home last year. Uh, but that mid-century modern collection last year that had this little, it was like this little house. I only saw it once because it was sold out the next time I even came around. Um, but it was a little mid-century modern house and it had these little pinup, these little Frankenstein pinup ghouls. They, they were so cute. Anyways, I loved that whole collection. I would like to see that expanded on. I've said that before, but I feel like that was just something different that I saw last year that I didn't see anywhere else. It's not personally like uh, something that would go in my home, but I just loved seeing it because it's so unique. Um, also, another thing I had already mentioned um, it, but if you didn't catch it in a vlog, I don't remember which vlog I mentioned it in, but I'll mention it again because I really want this idea to happen. There's this collection last year that had uh, all the dragons. It was kind of like a sage green and beigey kind of collection, but I'd like to see that collection become more of like a green or nature witch kind of collection instead of like dragons and claws and stuff like that. More... I don't know, just different types of greenery and maybe little, even like a terranium kind of situation with moss and some flowers or vines kind of going around it. And then inside there's a spider or a frog or um, maybe a rat, like some sort of uh, familiar in there. But also any sort of like last year they had these pictures, one was a toad and one was a snake. But if they did that, but it was more of like, you know, different insects or different, um, I don't know, plants and stuff like that, I feel like it would be really cool. Like in general, I'm just so excited to see what's at home. I'm not gonna say at twice. I'm tempted, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm really excited to see what's there because every year, and last year was like kind of an off year where a lot of people weren't getting full stocks of things or things were delayed and at home still delivered. So I'm really excited to see what they get in this year. But for me personally, what I wanna see for the sake of my home decor, <laughs> 
uh, if I have to mention it. I feel like At Home does a really good job with, with their candelabras or their candlestick holders or, um, I don't know, little things like that. Or even little things like there's this little, what did I, I got this a couple years ago there. This little pedestal that has a spider web in it. Um, just different kind of stuff that could be used all year round in my house. Just an all year round spooky vibe. But they also had, did I bring it down? Do I have it down here? This guy. The, uh, the skull with the crystal looking things coming out of the skull. I love this kind of thing for all year round. I don't know, just anything that's kind of like a darker all year round thing. I'm really into that. Um, also looking for dishware. Last year at home didn't have any Halloween dishware, I don't think. I didn't see any of it. And I feel like the year before they had a lot. So I think maybe last year they didn't get a lot of dishware in. Either they did away with the dishware or they didn't get a lot in because of COVID and all that stuff. So the year before they had those really cool Gothic goblets, if you remember, and I did my Dracula theme in my dining room and they were just the perfect addition to that. Um, but also I really do love a good jack-o'-lantern or anything that has a an old school, kind of eerie Halloween feel to it. Next up, I'm gonna talk about, I think really early on, Bath and Body Works got their Halloween stuff in. I wanna say it was July and their stuff last year, I am so nervous for them this year because last year they just was so good. I almost feel like last year is gonna be hard to beat when they had the pedestal with the, there was like a crystal ball that had the swirls inside with all the little, bats flying around and then the spider web print over it. I mean, I don't know if you can beat that. That was so good. Then on top of that, they had the chandelier one, the chandelier um, three wick candle holder. And that's another thing that I would love to see more of in general, the larger um, candle holders or larger pedestals for three wick candles or any sort of larger candle. Um, I would love to see more stuff like that, but they at Bath and Body Works, that chandelier one, it had like all the danglies and it looked like a gothic dream come true. I was not expecting that from Bath and Body Works, like not even close. Oh, their plug-in, I can't believe some of you are on the other side of that camera right now saying, ghoul, the plug-in, you're really not gonna mention the spooky house plug-in? Just gonna leave that out? I can't leave it out because it was my favorite, one of my favorite things ever. A haunted house plug-in that had the projection onto the wall that was a witch flying on a broom in front of a moon. And I collect their spooky house plug-in every single year. I'm so excited yet nervous to see what they put out this year. I hope they do a Dracula's castle. That would be a dream come true. Just like a full on gothic Dracula's castle with, I don't know, Oh, the projection could be bats. You know what I'm saying? Like a moon with bats. I feel like if they don't do that, it's a missed opportunity. Let's move on to, I'm thinking of, <laughs> I'm thinking of that little shopping center we go to every time. Next, let's talk about home goods because I feel like we have a lot to say about home goods because last year, oh, I'm, I need a scratch. <laughs> I, do we need to talk about the gnomes? Do you think we just need to put it out there, just get it off our chest and just hope if we talk about the gnomes that they won't come back? Or do you think if we talk about them, they will come back? Because I'm not even against gnomes. I didn't have a problem with the gnomes or the witches with the really pretty dresses. It doesn't bother me normally to even see them. It's just there was really nothing else. And they had, because of the pandemic and everything, they had so little um, that like I never saw a fully stocked home goods. I feel like we saw so many gnomes and witches and pretty dresses that I just, I could, I'd be totally okay if I never saw them again. That being said though, I'm so excited for this year. I feel like I'm going to be just freaking out about home goods or just, I'm gonna be hyping it up because I feel like when we get there and we actually see a proper Halloween at home goods this year, it's going to feel so good. And we're gonna have so much to talk about because last year was kind of a letdown that I feel like this year, no matter what, they could put out a turd with a witch hat on and I'd probably buy it, <laughs> not really, but, <laughs> Let's move right on along to Michael's because Michael's is also in this shopping center. <laughs> Michael's last year was amazing. I mean, there was that romantic gothic vibe that was more of like a pastel goth feel. Once again, wasn't necessarily my style, but I loved how unique it was. They did have a couple of things I really liked in that line, like the little potion bottles with the spider on it. I did really like their jewel tone collection with the jewel tone uh, velvet feel skulls and so had, I think I got this guy there. 
uh, this crow on a, on a, what is that? On like a branch, purple flowers. I love this kind of thing for all year round. All right, moving on, we gotta go straight to Joann's. I'm so excited to go cruise into Joann's because last year, Joann's, which if I'm talking too fast, it's because I'm trying not to be here for 300 hours, but also I could talk about Halloween for 300 hours. So Joann's last year was amazing. They did that 20s theme. It was incredible. So much all year round spooky decor at Joann's. They had all sorts of just different mirrors and wall decor. They also had those really pretty decanters at Joann's that looked like them. Like they're straight off of a vampire's little bar area. They had so much to choose from, even their throw pillows. And it was just like a full on, it was just a mature Halloween, a mature goth kind of situation at Joann's last year. And I loved every minute of it. So I'm really excited this year to see what Joann's has in store for us. The pressure is on, I feel like with Joann's and Bed, uh, I almost said Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works. Um, because last year they, they really came out with some stuff that's going to be hard to beat basically this year, I feel like. Anyways, where are we going next? We're going to, with Target, I just want above everything. I really want them to come out with another mature goth line. I know they had that one that came out super late last year, that collection that was kind of like an, it reminded, it was more of like an oddities collection is what it reminded me of. So I'm hoping they do a similar collaboration with me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. They're not doing one with me that I know of, not right now. But I'm hoping they do another collaboration that's that's kind of like that, like an adult Halloween collection. I'm, I'm, I, they've done the Ghoulish Garden the last couple of years. So I'm interested to see if they do it again this year, if they're going to kind of take a break from that. Or it'd be cool to do a Ghoulish Garden if we're being 100% honest. That could be more of like their cloche thing they had, uh, that dark gothic cloche thing. So you could do almost like a gothic, my gothic garden line. <laughs> also looking forward to Target Dollar Spot every year because their Halloween stuff and the Target Dollar Spot is always my favorite. All right, last place we're going to talk about is Spirit Halloween because last year the Beetlejuice collection at Spirit Halloween was really great. And I'm hoping they're adding to that line this year because I kind of want to, we did a, a, what, a Beetlejuice theme? I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Beetlejuice theme in my bathroom this year, the green bathroom, we did that last year. And I kind of want to expand on it, depending on what comes out. I feel like just in general, with all of the stores right now, it's, it's time for everyone to kind of get some new themes. And that makes me the most excited because I can't wait to see what comes out. And maybe not, maybe they just continue to expand on what they had, but I would be kind of disappointed because I feel like you can really get away with that. Like, you know, if you didn't get a chance to get it the one year, the next year, I feel like that um, Beetlejuice tombstone from Spirit Halloween, I feel like that one, it's gonna come back this year. So uh, it's that way people can get it again. And I think that they'll also expand on the Beetlejuice line because that was new last year. So I'm hoping they expand on that, at least, I hope. Everything else though, like the Hocus Pocus line, they also have that um, tarot line theme. They have the uh, gothic theme, the romantic gothic theme they did last year and the year before. I feel like a lot of these lines, a lot of like Target, Home Goods, like a lot of these people, it is time for a new line. It is time to get some new stuff in. Whoa. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you have any theme ideas or what you're wanting to see out there this year, like what kind of decorations you want to see, what stores you're excited to go to, um, and where you shop and, and your favorite places to shop and all that kind of stuff, or anything that you saw last year that you want to see again this year. Anyways, getting a little later than I thought, because per usual, I jabbed my jaws. But tomorrow, we're going to head out. We're going to go to at home. We're going to stop by really quick and see if they're ready for us. See if they're starting to mark things down or if there's any hint of Halloween out there because we're getting closer. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. What? I'm going to do my purse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is Everyone, we are out cruising. It's me and good old Mr. Skeleton. It feels so good to say that. But I feel like I'm being such a nerd, but it feels so good to say that. But it's me and good old Mr. Skeleton, and we are cruising to at home, and I'm using my phone today as a camera because guess who didn't charge her battery, per usual? Me. So I was not ready for today. So we're going to at home. I have my Halloween shirt on, my spooky shirt. 
uh, which I just left the post office and dropped off a bunch of orders. And I'm going to talk about the shirt here at the end of this video. Just a little bit of an update uh, on the spooky shirt and restocking and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But right now we're headed to at home and I know we're probably not going to see any it literally looks like no one was driving that car. <laughs> that was bizarre. Anyways, we're headed to at home and I know there's not going to be anything there but we're just gonna scope it out and see if they're starting to clear any shelves to see if they're marking anything down yet like any of the summer stuff down yet and uh i just i don't know i figured we'd go do that just for fun even though we won't see halloween today i mean i don't know i i wouldn't be shocked i mean i'd be really excited but but if we don't see anything i won't be surprised either because it's may <laughs> so it's not time yet but we may just be doing pre-halloween in may every year just to kind of you know prepare us for what's to come and to talk a little bit about what we saw last year and what we're excited for this year i i was nervous that i was going to hit traffic but it doesn't appear that i'm hitting traffic so am i in the wrong lane oh no i almost hit that car Oops, sorry. We're getting close. I'm so excited even though we're not gonna see anything. I'm just so excited because I just feel like we're getting so close and just getting back out there. Like I feel like I'm human again. I got my claws on. We're going to the Halloween store. It makes me wanna sing that song that my niece made up a couple years ago. The, like Halloween store, Halloween store. Don't take away our Halloween store. Oh, by the way, my niece, this is hilarious. So my niece is also obsessed with Halloween. She's an October baby and she's five, uh, four. She's going to be five in October. And for Mother's Day, she got her mom a skeleton coloring book <laughs> because she's just obsessed with anything spooky. And then my brother sent me a text message saying that uh, both of his girls were pretending to be animatronics. I just love it that my my nieces love spooky things. And my four-year-old niece is obsessed with uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? My brother bought all of the uh, seasons of Are You Afraid of the Dark? And she's, I'm like, she's really young, but she's obsessed with scary things. So she puts on all this makeup the other night. Like if you know the episode with the ghastly grinner, if you don't know, just Google it. Anyways, it's kind of this jester looking guy, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just thought he looked like a jester when I was little. Um, anyway, she put on all this makeup on her face and turned around and goes, look, dad, I'm the ghastly grinner. <laughs> she loves spooky things and I'm here for it. Um, all right, we're going in. We're here. We're at, 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 at home. We gotta fix that head. I mean, I almost need to like put like glue in there or something. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Maybe it's just a screw that needs to be tightened. Anyways, we just left at home and as suspected, there's nothing Halloween there, which is okay by me. I wasn't, I wasn't getting my hopes up there, but I did get some aisles. I walked in, walked straight to where the Halloween stuff normally is, like the seasonal stuff. And so I got a little bit, but I didn't want to blind you with the uh, 4th of July decor because I know that's not our thing. But what I do have to tell you, so there was nothing there. Oh, also really quick before I get into the best part of my trip here. Um, I didn't see anything that was marked down. Um, they're also not clearing out any shelves. It was pretty stocked with... Uh, pottery which i looked at some pottery didn't see anything that was my vibe but i did get some things i got like well it's one thing but i got four of them anyways you'll see when when we get home i'll show you because there was also a couple of things that came in uh came to my p.o box that some of you sent me that i wanted to show you a couple spooky things so 
that's all right. We weren't expecting anything, but I was just looking to see if there were any markdowns. So being that there weren't any markdowns, I'm thinking it's going to be mid-June or end of June like last year. Um, but, okay, so here's the story. So I roll up to the checkout with my stuff, and the worker goes, oh, is it is it Halloween day or something? This shirt always gets a good reaction from people about Halloween. So anyways, she was like, is it Halloween day today? And the ghoul doesn't even know that I was just set up for the best opportunity of my life. I wait for these moments where like normally when I'm at the checkout, it's just nonstop awkward. I, we've had this conversation. I'm just the most awkward with small talk that it's borderline hilarious. So anyways, I was totally set up for the best response ever. And so I took that opportunity. So let me set it up again. The worker says, oh, is today Halloween day? And I said, oh, you know, every day is Halloween. I delivered my line just as it was set up and it felt so good. And then after that, I think I just said, oh yeah, I like spooky things or something like that. I don't know, it's probably something awkward, but it doesn't matter because the one line that was set up for me was, I was ready for it. I was ready my whole life. I've been preparing for that moment. No, not really. I think at this point, we probably have a good month to go unless they mark things down in the next week, which they may, um, and then put stuff out in the beginning of June, but it looked like their shelves were still pretty stocked. So I think it'll be a minute, unfortunately. And now I'm craving a Baja Blast. We are back home and I was gonna show you what I got from at home and also a few things I got in my PO box that are really cute. First of all, I'm gonna show you what I got at, at home. Neens, can you wait for like five seconds and then I'll come sit with you and we'll say goodbye. Five seconds, that's all I ask. I found these black ceramic bowls, but I've been wanting some bowls like this for a while, but I saw them at, at home and they were only $5.99. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I was like, you know what? It's about time I got some of these bowls. I just really wanted some of these. Like the only bowls I have are kind of like soup bowls. And I wanted something more for salads or, you know, to make, you know, Asian bowls, burrito bowls or whatever kind of thing I wanted to make. I got four of these. Then I was going to show you a couple things I got from my P.O. box. These here are from Michelle. Michelle sent some amethyst, which is, is so beautiful. I love amethyst. And uh, some suckers, which you know I love candy. Uh, this cute little, I'm assuming this is an ornament. If it's not, I'm using it as an ornament. It's the uh, the Devil Tarot card. Then a couple of really cool stickers. And then this fun little ashtray that Michelle found. Uh, and the note, the ashtray was suggested as possibly using as a candle holder. Or I was even thinking for like to hold some crystals in there or something like that. Um, but also, I don't have a proper ashtray, which by the way, I love the moon and the bats on this ashtray. I don't have a proper ashtray even when I have friends over or a little party or something, which obviously hasn't been happening for a while. But in the instance it happens, um, I haven't, I don't have a proper ashtray, so I could also use it for that. So Michelle, if you're watching, thank you so much for all of these spooky goodies. I love them. Also, this sign, this is from Genosaurus or Jenna, but I'm going to call Jenna Genosaurus. Means five seconds. Do not jump off that couch. If you jump off that couch, do not do it. Anyways, this little sign is from Genosaurus. Genosaurus makes. I have here a Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy shop. I will link all of these down in the description box. But this sign is so cute. If you know, you know. I have to tell you something funny about this sign. So my husband saw it and he's like, what, do, what, do, what does that mean? What does if you know, you know mean? And I was like, well, if you know, then you know. And he was like, what? And I was like, well, you just don't know. <laughs> so clearly my husband watches a lot of Jada Libra YouTube. No, 
Um, he has to live with me, so I'm sure it would be overkill. Because if you can imagine, it is it is like that 24-7. Sign with the bats and the stars. It's so cute. So Jenna, if you're watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to put this on the wall in my office. I love this so much. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I wanted to do an update. Let me go sit down because we got to have a chat. So let's talk about the spooky shirt situation. All right, so... We had, uh, we did a very, very, very limited run of the first batch. Um, I don't know if I, I think I just was talking a whole lot in that video. And I don't know if it was well organized or I was just really excited. You know me, it, you know how I get. Um, so we did a super, super limited run for a couple of reasons. Number one, we didn't have a brand yet. We had no idea what it was going to be called. We didn't have a logo. We didn't have anything yet. So we didn't want to do like a full stock and invest in that and then just like not even have a brand name or not even have anything to like where anyone could refer to. Also, because we are a little baby brand going in and doing a full size range just wasn't an option at the time. So it wasn't to offend anyone or leave anyone out. It's honestly just so we can grow and so we can do really cool products for everyone. We're starting totally from scratch. Um, and with COVID and everything, we ran into a lot of roadblocks, um, especially since my husband is in the live music industry. We almost had to like scratch the whole thing entirely. Uh, because, I mean, we were closed for months and um, all that kind of stuff. So this whole situation has been completely, uh, nothing has really gone according to plan. But the one thing that has been right the entire time has been, which we felt really lucky about, is the actual product. The product is exactly how we want it. The feel, the print, everything, we are so excited about it. The only thing that hasn't gone according to plan really is just all the other uh, logistics of everything. So anyways, I wanted to be clear with that because this wasn't a limited run to exclude anyone or exclude any sizes, but I do feel bad that there wasn't enough for everyone. Although I'm really excited that the next round is gonna actually have the brand and the logo and all that kind of stuff. And I'm so grateful and appreciative and thank you for um, for purchasing these shirts. I mean, everything is going right back into the restock. So we already did have our reorder or restock placed, um, but like the order was placed, but we went ahead and doubled it. So we're gonna do double the amount uh, that we planned on doing. So it's gonna take a little bit longer because we are getting more in but that means that more of you are going to be able to get the shirt. We also have another print that's going to be in that order. So it will take a little bit longer than what we were expecting, but it'll definitely be here before Halloween. I want to say we're probably going to do like a fall launch, like um, August or early September, you know, where a lot of fall clothing starts coming out is when we're going to launch it. Because initially that's when this was supposed to be launched last year. Uh, we were supposed, we wanted to do it before Halloween, uh, you know, a couple months before so you can get a good wear out of it, even though it's, you know, we're, we're all spooky all year round around here. But in case you're wanting to wear it mainly during Halloween season, you would get a really good chance to do that. So we're thinking we're going to restock it in August slash September, um, which I know seems a little bit far away. Um, but that way too, with long sleeves, it'll be, um, just a little bit better timed, I think. So uh, all of that's gonna be coming up. I'll, I'll let everybody know about the restock. And then if you are a spooky family member, you will get a sneak peek of the new design that we have coming out. I'll definitely be more um, active and vocal and post about when the shirt is gonna be launched, uh, the, neck, the restock. Uh, that way everybody knows and you can't miss it. Just keep your eye out. It will also be on the HO7S Instagram and on the HO7S Facebook page. So if you want to follow those as well, I'll put the uh, links in the description um, because we will announce on those pages as well. So that way no one is missing any of the messages. But I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, purchasing these shirts. And if you didn't get one, don't worry. We're restocking we're expanding sizes. And then as we grow, we're gonna continue to add sizes. We also have a couple other things that are not shirt related that are gonna be coming 
I'm sure you can imagine, maybe you can guess what some of those things are. Anyway, so that's kind of that. Just wanted to go through that really quickly, which ended up being not so quickly, but you know what I mean. I just wanted to go over it because I feel like there were a lot of questions on that video that I didn't get to. So anyways, that's kind of that. I think that's it for, oh, hello. Uh, that's it for this video. I had so much fun chit chatting about all the Halloween stuff and then going to at home, even though we didn't see anything. I, I just hope you're watching and you're also feeling the feels, uh, you know, the pre-Halloween feels that, you know, even though we didn't see anything, it still was just so exciting to get into the car with Mr. Skeleton, even though he's been in there the whole year, let's face it. But get in the car with good old Mr. Skeleton, go cruising to at home and just scope it out and see See if they're preparing for us, which they're not yet, but um, we're coming for you at home. You better be ready. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Uh, also, in the comments, let me know anything. If you want to talk about your favorite stores that you're looking forward to seeing this Halloween, uh, any themes, like any theme predictions. Like, do you have anything that you think we're going to see a lot of? Or what kind of uh, style? Like, what kind of Halloween style are you shopping for? Are you on the gothic side? Do you like classic Halloween stuff? Do you like the vintage vibes? Let me know in the comments what you're looking for this year. But yeah, I'm really excited to geek out about all of the Halloween stuff in the comments. So uh, let's chit chat. Let's talk about Halloween. And anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.